It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 4th of January. I'm James Spann. Very cold air headed down toward Alabama late this week and potential for wintry precipitation on Friday. A lot of new data to show, so let's go. That's the water vapor satellite view. Very active pattern across North America. Uh, vortex setting up north of the Great Lakes. Uh, phase one of the cold air arriving today. The second phase will arrive Friday. A lot of clouds around, but the sun beginning to break through this afternoon. Temperatures are pretty cold. Uh, low 40s for places like Coleman and Haleyville. Birmingham at 50. We'll expect low 50s tomorrow, but on Friday, we'll have a hard time getting past the mid-30s. Around the region, you can see the cold air north of the state, St. Louis at 27. And temperatures are way below zero at midday for parts of North Dakota and Minnesota. Very cold Arctic air, and that's going to flood much of the continental United States in the next three to five days. This is the watch warning map for uh, the United States. We've got winter storm warnings for many of the western states. Winter weather advisories for Kentucky, parts of Illinois, Missouri, up into the Great Plains. And this is what the Weather Service in Birmingham is going to do. Uh, they are going to issue a winter storm watch for Friday for parts of north-central Alabama. The counties highlighted, they are in the shades of blue. The counties involved would be Fayette, Walker, Tuscaloosa, Jefferson, Shelby, Blunt, St. Clair, Talladega, Clay, Cleburne, Calhoun, Etowah, Cherokee. Uh, in that zone, there is potential for snow amounts to two inches. And understand, not everybody in that zone is going to get that much. In fact, some spots could see next to nothing. But there's potential there. Icy travel, a possibility. And again, this is from 6 a.m. Friday until 6 a.m. Saturday. And this forecast will change, but that's what the Weather Service has decided to do. Uh, and we'll talk much more about this in just a moment. We'll check the HPC graphics, I'm sorry, the WPC graphics, I forget they changed their name, Weather Prediction Center, part of NOAA. This is the chance of accumulating snow greater than one inch from 6 a.m. Friday until 6 a.m. Saturday. And you can see that uh, parts of North Alabama could see some snow for sure. Uh, the higher percentages are a little northeast of the state. That's when things phase up a little better. And I thought this was interesting. This is the freezing rain possibility, greater than one hundredth of an inch of freezing rain. Understand that's not sleet. Sleet, that's little ice pellets. Freezing rain, it's liquid. Rain that simply falls when it's colder than, than 32. And those probabilities are greater than 50% for parts of central and south Alabama. So we're going to have to watch that. Uh, if you live in Montgomery and uh, Auburn and even Greenville and Monroeville, Troy, uh, just be aware that there might be a little mischief on the backside of this thing late Friday night or early Saturday morning. But let's walk you through it. This is the GFS, the 12Z run ballot tomorrow at noon. Cold looking pattern for North America. Down below that, the day will be cool and dry. We start the day around 30. The high will be in the low to mid 50s. The sky partly sunny. Friday, here comes the wave, and this is when things get interesting. This is a Friday at midday off the uh, GFS, and it's very cold. Again, uh, uh, the GFS depicting a high of only 34 in Birmingham. Areas north of Birmingham will likely stay below freezing all day. And you can see the chance of some wintry precipitation that would be snow moving into north Alabama, rain for south Alabama. This is 6 o'clock Friday evening. And uh, if this happens to be correct, and this is not our specific forecast, but this is model output, but the GFS has gotten a little more aggressive with snow along the Interstate 20 corridor. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, sleet, that's the orange you see down to the south. Midnight, Friday night, 12 a.m. Saturday, snow continues for central Alabama with a chance of a wintry mix down to uh, Camden and Selma, Montgomery, in Lake Martin, and then by 6 o'clock Saturday morning, the whole thing is winding down. But again, this is still suggesting potential for a wintry mix in areas south and east of Montgomery. Now, this is the snow output coming off the GFS, and uh, you can see it's got uh, three inches showing up for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston right along Interstate 20, and also a heavier strip from uh, Selma up to Roanoke, but that's more because of sleet. And again, this mixes in sleet and freezing rain. So the, the main accumulation potential on this output is along Interstate 20. But please understand, other models say not so fast. 
Let's just go right to the European. That's the snow output. Shows basically nothing for Tuscaloosa and Birmingham and Anniston. A little bit over the Tennessee Valley, not much. The Canadian, pretty much the same thing. Light snow for the northern third of the state and basically nothing for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston. And the NAM, the North American Mesoscale model, a little bit over the Tennessee Valley. So it is not a lock that we're going to see accumulating snow across north central Alabama. But as a let me show you one more graphic. This is the European Ensemble, 50 members. And a number of the members do put down accumulating snow at Birmingham. But uh, again, this is pretty much what the Weather Service is going to go with <clears throat> as a course of least regret. A lot of people have memories of January 2014, still fresh on their mind, three years ago, but snowmageddon. And uh, uh, just because of that and potential, it's going to be very cold. Uh, the Weather Service is again posting a winter storm watch for Friday for these counties. And uh, this is the accumulation potential in the areas of the lighter blue I've got a tenth of an inch to two inches. Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. Light amounts for the Tennessee Valley. Uh, that's why there's no winter storm watch there. And again, down to the south, you know, Montgomery, Selma, you got to watch this. Uh, you might have a wintry mix, not necessarily snow, but that could be Friday night. And that's a first look. This will change. And again, not everybody in those colors will see snow. The snow lovers, some will be very happy. Some will be severely disappointed. It works that way with every event. This is not going to be an historic event. This is nothing like the blizzard of 93. This is nothing like Snowmageddon. But we all know it doesn't take a lot to create problems here, uh, travel problems sometimes. And again, just the Weather Service decided that's the best thing to do. So that's where it stands now. This probably will change, but just be aware of that. And again, this is 6 a.m. Friday to 6 a.m. Saturday. By midday Saturday, it's all east of here. Uh, we're cold, very cold. Uh, the high Saturday only in the low to mid-30s. Uh, snow likely for parts of Georgia and the Carolinas. If you're traveling east on Saturday, be aware of that. Sunday, cold and dry. Sunday morning, goodness, the new model data coming in very cold. The GFS now showing 15 for Birmingham. Sunday morning with a high of 38. And Monday morning, the GFS is showing 16. Easily the coldest air so far this season. And then the high Monday would be in the middle 40s. So all things aside, it is going to be very cold here. Very cold for the weekend. We'll go to Tuesday. We warm up into the 50s and uh, rain approaching the state. That might arrive Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, shortwave trough coming through with a chance of rain. And the high would be in the 50s. This is the end of the forecast period. Saturday, the 14th of January. Upper high nosing in from the Gulf. And that looks cool and dry. That's right. And after our big cold snap for the weekend, temperatures go back towards 60 by the latter part of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.